Like, why, why would you even mess with us like this? Why would you tell us, like, this is such a huge troll. Wait a minute, this is, is this you from Lou's Twitter? Oh my god, this is Twitter. Oh my, this is real. Hello guys, it's the Renny here, and you know what it is. Yufunlu just dropped a huge bomb in the Vita scene, and oh my god, it is crazy. I apologize before I start, I gotta give credit where credit is due. It was not only Yufunlu who dropped this bomb, but the entire Molecule team. Alright, so if you guys are unaware, the King of the Hill challenge that Yufunlu sent out to everyone has now been solved, meaning we have the full source code, the Henaku, but that's not even the best part. You see, after the King of the Hill challenge was solved, Yufen Liu announced that there would be a huge update, the Henaku, and what came out was just so unexpected. Would you guys happen to have heard of, um, hmm, CFW before? No? You know, just some some petty little exploit, you know, just the PSP had it, but it was it was some small thing. <laughs> I'm messing with you guys. No, yes, I mean, t uh, I'm sorry, one second, one take, that's all I'm doing. Yes, Yufen Liu has released CFW, well, a CFW framework for the PS Vita. They have named it Tai Henaku and does pretty much everything that Henaku does and so, so much more. Yep, just like before, you will still be able to run your homebrew, you know, your games, your, and all that, those tweaks you run in the background, those all still work, but what this update adds is the functionality of plugins. These plugins will allow developers to write hooks and patches to remix games, system applications, and even edit the kernel. To sum it up, just like on the PSP, this will allow you to change and add functionality to your system. Another feature of this CFW is that it can be ported rather easily to higher firmwares if exploits have been found on them. For example, say a kernel exploit is found on 3.63. At that point, all you would have to load is the taihen.skprx and ideally every plugin should work. It also means that if the CFW gets ported to lower firmwares, Plugins will just simply work. You will no know extra work is required. Nothing has to be rebuilt from scratch. It just works. Now, if you are an end user like me, or what I like to call a consumer who just experienced the program itself and doesn't develop for anything, I don't suggest installing this update at the moment as it is very unstable and is in its early beta. I say stick with your current normal Henaku until things get fixed and ironed out and some plugins are actually released for it. Okay, so I'll be ending it off here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to support my channel, just please hit that like button. I really, really appreciate it. Also, leave a comment on how you feel about this entire matter. It's just, I think it's amazing. Seeing my PSP days now replicated on the Vita is just... Huh, it's just so satisfying. And once again, subscribe if you want to see more content. I do this on a daily basis. So yeah, guys, just the Renny, signing out. See you later. Peace. <laughs>